everyone. Welcome back to Tiny Mike Interviews at DEF CON 31. I am here today back at the Lock Ticking Village with my friend Max. Welcome hey, back. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. Um, and so I'm super excited because I'm super curious to hear about lock picking and the rise of lock picking in media. And I feel like I've been seeing a lot more content creators pop up with lock picking. So I'm super curious to hear how you feel like that's affected the village this year. It's definitely more and more popular, and we've got more space this year, and we've still somehow filled that space, and so that makes me very happy, very excited. Yeah. Uh, this, is a, this is a great turnout. Have you seen any, like, lockpicking creators around yet? Not yet. I've seen some in Vegas yesterday, but they're here. I have a feeling they're all asleep. They're hiding. Actually, lockpicking dev is at the table somewhere. Oh, my God. Awesome. Come to think of it. And I want to talk about what's in your hand right now. This book that is coming out called Locksport, which I don't know what Locksport is. What would you describe Locksport as? It is the sport of lockpicking. So not necessarily for the, um, the, the employment part of it or for physical penetration testing. It's just the fun and the challenge and the competition of seeing who can pick a lock faster than the other, or open one that couldn't be opened before. It's, would a bad analogy be like Rubik's Cube uh, solving competition? Same, same thing. Like We get a bunch of locks, a bunch of people try to pick it as fast as they can, then we'll switch so everybody gets a fair chance. At, um, this is the way some of them work. Um, and then everybody adds up their times, and whoever has the shortest time among all the locks on the table wins. Awesome. So tell me more about the book. So this is not a book that I wrote, but a bunch of friends did. They wrote it about lock sport, the challenges of different locks, um, the history of various different lock picking and lock opening. Um, and I'm super excited for it. There's been a bunch of people collaborating on it. They're doing a book signing tomorrow, Saturday at 1 p.m. at No Starch Press booth. Um, and uh, even as somebody who's been doing a lot in lock sport, I'm excited to read this, and I know I'm going to find some gems. Awesome. And is there anything that you think, uh, for the people watching at home, what should they know this year? I mean, it's always stay safe, stay legal. Like, don't pick locks you don't own. Um, we got a bunch of new stuff this year at DEF CON, uh, at the sales table. A lot of people have been asking for flat uh, turning tools, pry bars, so we have those. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye on the tool store for some new stuff. I think we might have some updates to that online as well awesome. in the near future. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your data interview. I'm super glad that we were able to catch up this year. Me too. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you on the next uh, interview.